All right, hey, um, quick update video here on using VirtualBox to run Linux. So if you're in my class, I've, I've suggested if you're not on a native Linux system at home, go ahead and install VirtualBox and um, install Linux on top of that. Um, I posted a video and talked in class about how to do that. Um, I've since gotten my hands on a Windows laptop and I've seen that there are some issues um, with getting VirtualBox to run Linux on a Windows machine. So I want to tell you what I found out about that and then I want to talk about how to set up a shared folder and how to make the clipboard work between your virtual machine and your host machine. So let me let me take care of the Windows stuff first. Um, so if, if you search for features, um, bring up turn window features on and off, um, mostly you need to look for um, something called Hyper-V. And if you come down here, you'll see something. The name is different on different systems. Um, but Windows Hypervision Platform, that needs to be turned off. But also, the one above it, Virtual Machine Platform, that needs to be turned off also. If you uncheck both of those and then reboot Windows and then try to install um, Linux on VirtualBox, it should work. Um, unfortunately, this will break WSL, the Linux subsystem inside Windows. I haven't had a lot of success with that myself. I've been trying it on, on uh, you know, a newer Windows 10 laptop. Um, it doesn't come with X installed, as far as I can tell. You have to put an X manager on top, and it's just it's a lot of layers to go through. So I'm going to opt for just running Linux inside VirtualBox, turn off Virtual Machine Platform, turn off Windows Hyper version, Hypervisor Platform, or um, Hyper-V. Um, and, and that should work fine. So um, I'm going to switch over to my Linux machine and show you from there how to set up shared folders and how to set up um, uh, clipboard sharing. All right. All right. So here's, here's my back to my Linux machine. I'm running VirtualBox. I'm running just a standard Ubuntu 18.04. Um, actually, the first thing I want to do is I want to um, change my display to make it larger. So I'm going to... Um, Click on my little mouse icon, go to settings, uh, I'm going to look for display, and I'm going to come over here, I'm just going to change the resolution. Now you don't want to make it too big or it's going to pretend you have a bigger monitor than you have and it's going to move things around and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go, go nominally 1280 um, by 1024, just to give me something a little bigger. Um, so here's how you set this up. Uh, Go over to Devices, say Install Guest Edition CD Image, and that will mount, a, or it will load a virtual CD into your virtual CD reader and eventually open it up. If it doesn't open it up, just double click on it, but after a few seconds it should open up. And what we want is this program up here, autorun.sh. Okay, so the easiest way to get to this um, is go into slash media slash nick slash virtual box guest editions and then I'm just going to say dot slash auto run dot sh you need to do this as as root so so it's going to run like that and I'm gonna get an error message saying that I don't have the proper things installed so you need you need a bit of a development environment in particular I need to install um, GCC, Make, and Perl. Okay, these three packages. All right, so let's do that. Um, we'll close this out, and I'll say sudo apt dash get install GCC, Make, and Perl. Put in your password, tell it yes, you want to go ahead and do this, and it'll sit here and it'll run for a while. While it's doing that, I'm going to change my font size. Make it a little easier to read. All right, so that should have everything set. So I'm going to log out of here. I'm going to close this. I'm going to unmount this. I don't think I really need to unmount it, but I'll do that anyway. And I'm going to reboot again. Linux does not just out of habit tell you to reboot, you know, 
for the heck of it. Um, but for this change, I think rebooting helps. Okay, I'm also going to check my settings again. And on the advanced tab, I do have bidirectional setup. So let's go ahead and boot this up. All right, there we go. And I'm going to open a window and I'm going to control shift V. And there's a thing that I pasted um, that I grabbed from my other window. And I can select this text. Um, I can say edit copy. And now if I come over to my host terminal section, I can paste that in, right? So I have copy and paste working between my host machine, right? My, my PC that I physically boot up and my virtual machine, right? So that's good. Um, while I'm in here, uh, we'll talk another time about terminal programs. All right, so we're good to go with that. Um, let's um, go ahead and remove this virtual disk, right? So we'll unmount that just so we don't see this, this guest edition CD every time that we're in here. Let's go ahead and exit. So shut down the system and let's make a shared drive, all right? All right, the system is down. Let's go ahead and add a shared folder. So I'm going to click on the system I'm working with, go to settings, and let's go under shared folders. And let's click on this little symbol with a plus sign that's going to add a new shared folder. Okay, folder path is the folder on my physical machine that I want to share. So I'm going to say other and I'm going to um, to browse and I'm going to go under my my sort of usual mount directory so I'm going to go under MNT and I've got a folder here already called share I'm going to use that the folder name gets filled in for you. it's going to be called share that's fine I'm going to say auto mount um, and and I'm going to say let's mount this under slash mount slash share this is where it's going to be mounted on my virtual system all right so I'll say okay and I'll say OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and start my system up. Now this doesn't seem to work unless you do that thing we already did with the VirtualBox guest editions. But with that set up, this should work fine. So over here is, is my physical system. Let me hop over to the mount slash share directory. There's nothing in there right now. So Ubuntu is booting up in VirtualBox over here. And there we go. So let me let me put a file in here. So I have a file called ha ha ha. Let me open up a terminal window in here. Um, go into slash mnt. Let's do an ls. There is a file called share. I can't look at it right now. So let me swap to being a super user. And let me go into share. And there's my file ha ha ha. Right, and it's an empty file, but I can edit it from here, for example. Right, so there's my file on my virtual machine, and now if I look at the file on my physical machine, it's the same file, right? Um, I can touch a new file in here, and if I go back and I look on my physical machine, there's a new file. And I can remove it, right? And if I come back here, that file's been removed. And I can remove ha ha from here. And if I come back over to my physical machine, that file's been removed. So my my folder over here on my physical machine, mount share, and my folder here on my physical my virtual machine, they're the same folder, right? And this is an easy way to move things back and forth. Okay, one extra deal, if I'm sitting here under mount and I say, let's see what's in the share directory, I can't even look at that, okay? The reason being that this, this share folder is owned by root and it's owned by the group VBox SF. So what you need to do is add yourself to that group. So there's one more sudo command, sudo add user, put in your username and then say VBox SF, okay? That adds you to the group and now I can go inside share um, oh, I have to log out and log in again. So one more time. I don't have to reboot all the way. I'm just going to go ahead and say log out. And then I'll log back in. And 
and I'll open the terminal window and I'll go to mount slash share and I'm all set. So I can create a file in here. I just create a file called hello. If I look on my physical system, there's hello. And I can edit it on my physical system. And if I look at it on my virtual system, those edits are there. And these files are just owned by, um, by the group VBox SF. So I have access to them. Um, all right, so there you go. That's basically the deal. Um, that gets you going with the shared clipboard and with a shared folder. So makes it possible to move things between your physical system and the virtual system. That's probably all you need to, um, to be super productive with this. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.